Hello, my name is Joseph Holmes and I'm the executive director of the Canadian Light Source, Canada's Sunkotron Radiation Facility here in Saskatoon. This video will give you a glimpse into our world here at the Sunkotron, accelerating discoveries in Canada and helping to solve the problems of our academic and industrial partners from Canada and from around the world. Enjoy. Bonjour, je m'appelle Joseph Hormès et je suis le directeur général du Centre canadien du rayonnement synchroton ici à Saskatoon. Cette vidéo vous donne une impression de notre monde ici au synchroton qui accélère les découvertes au Canada et qui trouve des solutions pour les problèmes de nos partenaires académiques et industriels au Canada et partout dans le monde. J'espère que vous profitez de cette vidéo. The Canadian Light Source is one of the most advanced synchrotron research facilities in the world. Located at the University of Saskatchewan in Saskatoon, the CLS attracts researchers involved in many different disciplines from around the world. An electron gun fires bunches of electrons through steel tubes into the booster ring. Microwave energy is then used to accelerate the electrons up to nearly the speed of light the electron beam is then injected into the synchrotron storage ring. When the path of these high-speed, high-energy electrons is bent by magnets inside the storage ring, a natural phenomenon occurs to produce an extremely brilliant light. Beam lines capture, manipulate, and direct this light onto samples. The interaction of light with molecules in the samples allows scientists to obtain very detailed images of the molecular structure of materials, as well as a very detailed chemical analysis. The interaction of light with samples like this protein molecule allows scientists to characterize the functions of the molecule and to obtain very detailed images of the molecular structure, critical information for pharmaceutical companies to develop next generation products. A similar analytical technique can be used to help determine the bioavailability of heavy metals in contaminated samples, important for environmental modeling and remediation. New techniques are being developed for applications in ag biotech, micro and nanotechnology, medical imaging, and cancer therapies. In a future of discovery, the world will look to us. You might not think of Saskatchewan or Saskatoon as being the center of the universe, but in this business, it really is. I think the viability of a country depends in part on its ability to develop new technology, explore new things, and I think the, the CLS uh, represents that. Along the way, we've engaged a quite interesting company, RMD Engineering, and uh, they, they have built a number of things on the beam line, and we've discovered that they're quite interested in new technology, and uh, we're working quite closely with them. So I think not just having companies come here to use this facility to look at things to figure out how they work or whatever, but being able to engage companies in the context of them being able to build stuff like this, very high-end, high-tech equipment. We created the Ideas Beamline as a way to help industry get better access to a facility like the CLS, to allow them to do the fundamental and applied research that they find very important to them. I, I would think it would make more sense to Industry is really starting to understand that they can't do everything in-house. They need to work in a collaborative mode. They need to work in a mode where they have access to the state-of-the-art infrastructure the Government of Canada has put in place. So having ideas available to them gives them that opportunity to be at the leading edge, to be at the forefront of science and technology of tomorrow. And with the kind of investments the Government of Canada has made in those tools, it now lets industry step up and say, we want to be the best. And access to tools like Ideas will let them be the best. The, uh, the Hexma beamline here at the Canadian uh, Light Source is a hard X-ray beamline that allows us to probe the chemistry of metals in soil and environmental samples with great detail. We are currently working with a mining company to uh, revegetate a, a former smelter site. The more rapidly that revegetation can occur, the more quickly that the environment can return to a natural boreal forest uh, ecosystem. 
if you want to have a healthy ecosystem, then you have to have a healthy soil. And so the work that we do here at, at the Synchrotron really gives us an opportunity to focus in and understand what makes soils do the things that they do and how to better manage them uh, so that the, the environment will be healthy and, and sustainable over long periods of time. Uranium mining and refining uh, requires uh, a lot of uh, sophisticated technologies. And uh, in those technologies, to be able to develop and understand some of the chemical reactions and uh, what is happening during the process or after the processing in uh, management of our tailings, our scientists and uh, technologists, they need the support of uh, Canadian Light Source or Synchrotron. The regulators need the power of science as well. And the other aspect of Synchrotron is that it is more available for the industry and the universities than the other countries. Well, I moved here because of the Canadian Light Source. Uh, and for me, BioXAS beamlines are, are the future. We have 100 principal investigators across Canada who are interested in using this beamline. What they'll use it for is to look at metals in biological and environmental systems in a huge variety of different ways. Uh, they'll look at purified proteins, they're looking at health and disease, they're looking at environmental issues even. Uh, so there's a huge amount of excitement as to the, the questions that we can ask and the answers that we can get using this beamline. It doesn't matter what your discipline is, we need the ability to understand the, the processes that are taking place in the natural world at great detail if we're going to be effective and we're going to be leaders globally in, in science. And the Canadian Light Source provides that, that capability.